So myths and facts. What is it? What is happening today? Corona times is a time when lots of uh, myths have been spreading, especially when it comes to women. So what are the facts about the woman and Corona? And that is what we are going to find out. First myth which went around. Like a big, um, let me say, let us a joke around or start stopping the woman from getting the vaccination. That is, can anybody take vaccination during menstruation when they are menstruating? So what is the fact about it? CDC says there's nothing to do with menstruation and vaccination. Vaccination can be taken any day of the period. There is no loss of immunity during periods. And in fact, the amount of antibodies which are produced are much above the threshold level when it comes to vaccination during menstruation. So, girls out there, all you girls out there, just go and get vaccinated irrespective of your menstrual cycle. Second thing, question which we keep getting when we meet people is, are we are planning for pregnancy. Can we become pregnant? And uh, also, in the same time, if I get corona vaccine, uh, vaccine, is it going to affect the pregnancy? Corona and pregnancy can go par parallelly. The vaccination is something which is not having any live coronavirus and it is going to produce the antibodies which is only going to help you and your baby if you become pregnant also. So you're planning, you don't have to wait, just get your vaccination done. No need of any gap between the vaccination and planning. If you become pregnant just after vaccination also, continue the pregnancy. Next, what is the next myth which is going around? After ART treatment, we have our embryos which are frozen. So can we go ahead or can do we have to wait for it or my husband has taken it and does, is it going to affect my sperms and sperm function and I have undergone just now a surgery, do I have to wait? In fact, post-surgery, if your immunity is low, you're going to get the corona, which is going to be detrimental. So please, all you girls and guys out there, let it be post-surgery or are you taking the ART treatment, nothing is going to affect the vaccination. Please take the vaccination and continue simultaneously as a real track, parallelly your ART treatment also. It's not going to affect you. So what else is happening? What is the next thing which is coming? Okay, while well, you have become pregnant, can you take the vaccine? Now, here is the million dollar question. There is a huge difference between the recommendations and permissions. Recommendations all over the world is from the FOXI, that is the Indian guidelines, or from the FIGO, that is international guidelines, or RCOG, or American ACOG, that is all the obstetric and gynecology societies. We recommend pregnancy is a high risk phase where 20 times increased risk of morbidity, mortality happen. So please take vaccination during pregnancy. As far as India goes, it is an off-label usage because the government is yet to give the permission in pregnancy. So all you girls out there, you need to survive first to get to think of delivery and have the pregnancy. And in fact, if you take a vaccination in pregnancy, the antibodies which are produced in pregnancy can actually pass and help the baby even after the delivery. So... If possible, please go and take your vaccination in pregnancy. Okay, you have delivered. Then comes the lactation. Luckily for us, Indian government has given their permission to get vaccinated during lactation. So woman, don't worry. You don't have to throw your milk after getting vaccinated. You can continue giving it the antibodies. This is the most important part of breastfeeding is all the vitamins, protein and the antibodies, everything will be secreted into the milk. And this lactation is going to make your baby more strengthened against the corona infection which it can come. So, lactation is an indication for vaccination. So, please take it. Okay, you delivered. You have a baby. So, what are the post-COVID or post-vaccination effect on the baby? Vaccination is going to be very, very good. It is only going to help your antibodies pass on through the milk and help the baby. So what is going to happen if you get a corona infection during delivery or when you are lactating? Do not worry. You can room in. You can feed the baby. Okay. Baby cannot be put on the mask, but you can put the mask and still feed the baby because the antibodies, whether they are produced because of infection or because of vaccination, is going to transfer to the baby and it is going to protect. So post-COVID, do not fear lactate. So what is the next thing? Okay, I have got the corona infection. Now, can I take the vaccination? And if yes, when can I take the vaccination? You got the corona infection, you have the antibodies which are going to be produced. So we do not want those antibodies to be washed out. So minimum of four weeks, you please wait, then only go for the next vac vaccination. If the first dose is taken and then you got the infection, 
again you wait for four weeks minimum to a maximum of three months and please go ahead and take the vaccination then comes the million dollar question which we all ask is it safe my i am on blood thinners is it safe i had a stroke my mother had a stroke can she take it my mother is the having so many arthritis and postmenopausal can she take my parents or my uncles have been treated with cancer and now it is she is undergone radiotherapy can she take yes autoimmune diseases yes so any disease out there this is a pandemic during pandemic first priority is that if you are allergic to any particular ingredient change the vaccination but take it even if you have autoimmune diseases you can take it so it is very safe just take it when we are saying when can you not take it whatever condition where the immunity is going to come down like if you are smoking or alcohol stop your smoke and alcohol for 2 3 days and please take it and then when it comes to the steroids if you can hold it for 2 3 days hold it and take it and sid is like painkillers hold it for 2 3 days and take it so any given time any time it just your alive is an indication to take the vaccine to prevent the infection so that we still remain alive so all these girls out there please come over so understand that any things any time just join the group whether you are menstruating whether you are lactating whether you are pregnant any time during the pandemic only primary infection is vaccination 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 the next comes don't do not forget the social distancing and the mask that is the priority so the covid responsible behavior with the mask the vaccination goes a long way to help us prevent the infection and save ourselves and save the nation it's safe on it i'm going to say that i believe it's safe to take vaccine